Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we will learn about building charts like a pro in Excel. So, so far we had a lot of sessions on building various types of charts in Excel. But in case if you are going on a business meeting or a client meeting and you wanted to customize your charts in such a way that they look a little more better than usual, then this is the perfect tutorial for you. And that's it. If these are the type of videos you would like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master data analytics skills to land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various data analytics programs. Simply Learn offers postgraduate programs from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. Through this program, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like prescriptive and predictive analytics, regression, classification, and over a dozen others. That's not all, you also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts in top tier product companies and academics from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a data analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find a perfect data analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now without further delay, let's get started. Now I will quickly switch back to Microsoft Excel where we have some sample data. So there you go, we have switched to Microsoft Excel and we have a very small sample data to create a general chart. Now let's go with the first ops team. So we have a list of uh, multiple brands here and the number of laptops that belong to that particular brand and to the team now just go to insert option over here and you have a lot of charts now you can just pull up any of the charts available here or you can extend this particular option here to get the multiple chart options and here you have this one right you can just go with the first uh, bar chart right here or you can also go with the uh, this particular option this is also called a bar chart i would now go with this which has multiple colors which specify the different brand now if you uh, feel like maybe you should uh, reorder this particular chart so that the topmost one comes in the first place that is the highest number comes in the first place and the lowest one comes in the last place then you have the option of uh, formatting it just control one so that you have the format options and here you have the option of uh, changing or rearranging the chart so you can click on format access and uh, categories in reverse order or you can also do one more thing you can just uh, select this particular column and go to the sort option and you can simply sort largest to small there you go now if you want to change colors just go to the colors option and here you can add a shadow if you require or if you want to just change the colors you can also do that you can add some soft edges if you want you can add some glows and a few more stuff now if in case if you want to add a few more comparative types of charts let's say we have both teams here ops and developer right in situations where you want to compare them head on head you can also do that just uh, go on to the same select the data and go on to the same insert option and here expand the chart options and here go to all charts and here you can find the bar graph and in that use this particular option which is clustered bar stacked bar right just press ok and you have a chart stacked bar right here and you can also add the titles right over the top of this particular and you can just remove this and add a text box to indicate the brand name right on top of this particular bar graph that is stack bar and in case if you want to make some options here you can just go to the design option and here you can just select the background and add some right here you can just press press control one to add a few more uh, options like uh, you know color transparency and uh, 
compound type if you want to change the color you can just click on the colors which you like and uh, gradient lines you can add some gradient lines and uh, if you want to add some you know a customization to it you can also do that and if you want to increase the transparency that can also be done and the brightness just in case if you want to increase the brightness onto your chart you can also do that and you can also adjust the width and height of your grid lines so uh, you have a better clarity on what's happening so uh, these are a few tips and tricks to create your presentation charts in like a pro and uh, you can also edit the uh, chart title inventory there you go and you have the legends over here ops team and the dev team so that's how you can have some tips and tricks to prepare your bar charts like a pro and with that we have come to an end of this session on how to create charts in excel like a pro and if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you require the data set or the workbook that we used in this session please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest until next time thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from simply learn Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.